Hi guys, I'm back again and today I have a fun video. Um, so yesterday I went to Mayo up to the new Create with Kate studio and craft shop. Um, Kate has a fabulous setup where she has all her goodies in the shop and also a classroom area for um, classes and there's lots of fun classes come up so I will um, link um, Kate's Facebook page below and you can check out there and also I'll link her website so you can see um, what classes are coming up but um, the class that I went to yesterday was taught by Tandy Art and um, I'll show you I'm going to show you the goodies we got the goodies that we made and also some shopping that I did in Kate's shop because you couldn't not buy something in her beautiful shop um it has a, such a cute setup and just everything is so beautiful so well done Kate your shop is fab um so first of all we went up and we got our bag of goodies for creating with and in our bag also we got this beautiful um a4 sized um roughly i think um print from Tandy Art, our teacher. So everyone got one, everyone got a different one, I think. And so they're all so beautiful. So we are all admiring each other's um, prints and they're on beautiful heavyweight like cards. So they're perfect for um, putting on your wall or whatever. And you can get these, I think in Sylvia's um, Etsy shop. So I'll link that below as well. And definitely check out Tandy Art on, she's Tandy Art on, Facebook and Instagram and also here on YouTube so I'll link all everybody's links below so you can see so we all got a nice print and actually up in the corner I think you can see there how to spell Tandy Art so she does these beautiful um, fairy girls and that's the one I got I love her she's so cute I actually already have a Tandy Art framed picture um, up in my um, crafting room that I bought from Sylvia from her Facebook page. Sometimes she has items for sale up on her page, so definitely worth um, checking out because they're so cute. And here's another little one. This one was just on her actual bag of class goodies as well. It was just um, stapled on the front, so it's another lovely little uh, fairy girl. So I'll definitely be putting her up on my wall. And then I'll show you what we made. So the first thing that we made was so much fun. You can just see it there, so I'll have to hold it sideways to get it all in. But it's a fairy house. So we painted it and we papered it and then we stamped on it. So you can see the dotty stamp I used. I also had this little flower stamp for my stash. And again, the flower stash and just this dotty stash. I just used two um, stamps of my own that I brought with me. But um, Sylvia, um, that's Tandy Art, she also had loads of stamps and goodies for everyone to play with. And then we all drew our own fairy girls. So this is my little fairy girl. And we had these lovely chipboards to play with. They're from Scrappenyek. I'll show you um, the flyer with their name on it so you can look them up in a minute. So it was so much fun and... Um, Everyone enjoyed it, uh, making their own little fairy house. The chipboards are beautiful. This um, brick one, I just chopped it up and used it on different areas. And we had these lovely flowers, these hearts. This one says love. I used one, I cut up a butterfly to give my fairy little wings. And that's it. And then the little, I love the little fence. So I added here to the back where the flowers were and a little butterfly. And that's it, that's the roof. So it was so much fun, there's some washi tape, and then I added some just paint on my flowers just to tie them in and all that. So there's my fairy house. So everyone had beautiful fairy houses. At the end of the video, I'll just pop up some photos of um, Kate's shop. And also we have a lovely photo of all everyone's um, fairy houses together, like a little fairy village. <laughs> then for the second part of the class, we made these cards. Again, it's the chipboards and they're so um, detailed, they're beautiful pieces. And then um, Sylvia had all these little 
um, centerpieces for us and then we would just use whatever bits of scrap papers we had left from our kit to make up the background and I just spare flowers so I just painted up to match. So we've got the card as well. So they're the two things that we made. I'll see them here, we can still see them. And then here is the chipboard company. This is an extra one that was in our kit. So there you can see Scrap and Yak. Um, so there, Scrap and Yak dot, dot PL, Poland. And there's some little guys. They're so detailed, but they're so delicate. So just if you are getting any, just be careful popping them out. They do pop out easy, but just you don't want to damage them because they're so delicate. But once they're glued on to your pieces, obviously they're nice and sturdy. So we got those in our package. And then I have leftovers from my fairy house as well. So you can see, I'll show you some more of the chipboards. There's some butterflies and this lovely lacy detail and these flowers, I have a good few of those. So, and then as well, a few leftover scraps of paper. That's the envelope for the card and the flower and some pearls. So I may just add them onto my makes myself. But everyone had such a fun time and it was lovely to see such different um, fairy houses. So when you see on the picture that I'll post at the end of the video, you see all different fairy houses and all different fairies because we drew our own fairies. So that was fun. <laughs> that was a challenge for us. I'll leave them there. <clears throat> also from Sylvia, I had bought pre-bought this off her. Um, it's a bracelet. I'll just take it out of the package. And also another lovely, beautiful print girl. Sorry now for the noise. So it's like this. It says capture life's moments, which is fun because I love photography. And it's only mint and leather strap and it just pops. Like this. Let's pop it on here if I can. Like this so they're so pretty so again she was selling them i think on her facebook page so i had pre-bought one um before the class and again it came oh it's a card actually inside is a lovely greeting card with another one of her fairies i just love her fairies you could frame these they're so pretty all of them so i have loads of little fairies now so i'm delighted okay and then i'll show you as well kate gave us all a lovely little goodie so there's create with kate um createwithkate.com she gave us all these little um buttons little fun wooden buttons which are always handy to have she gave everyone a pack of those for the class just as a little treat and then i bought some goodies as i was saying in kate's shop so i'll just quickly show you those so i got two packs of these paper roses um three six nine twelve year twelve lovely little cream paper roses and they're only two euro fifty cent which was really good value and obviously you can spray these any colour and they're always handy to have the plain cream roses. Then I got this Prima. I hope you can see that. The Frank Garcia Memory Hardware Gatefold Journal Album. And if you follow Frank Garcia on his um, Facebook or else even the Prima YouTube, you'll have seen him use these albums and they're so pretty. So I bought one. There's the pages inside. So when I get to do this one up, um, I'll show you again. But that was eleven ninety nine. And then Kate has a lovely wall of Tim Holtz goodies in her shop. So there's a few things that I had my eye on, so I picked those up. So these are just the hanger paper clips. They're four twenty five, and you get twenty four. Um hangers in there. Something else I wanted for ages was these, the monocles. So you get three of those in there for $7.99 and they're so cute. They're glass and monocles. They'll be cute for a project, like an altered project maybe. And as well, these little trophy cups, which are so cute. You get three of them for $3.99. So they're like a lightweight kind of plastic, but they look like metal. And if you've if you follow Tim Holtz, which most people do, um, you'd have seen him like use inks and different things to make these look like really metallic and 
um, patina and all sorts of good stuff with those. So that's why I bought those. So there we go. All the goodies. So it was a, such a fun day. And as I said, I'll link everything below. But there's lots of more classes coming up in um, Kate's new workshop. Which is just a fantastic um, little place. It only took me... Coming from Galway, it's up in Mayo, so it just took me just over an hour to get there and it was actually very easy to find, so that was good. I was afraid I'd get lost because I was on my own in the car, but I made it. <laughs> and thanks so much to Sylvia um, from Tandy Art and Kate for a great day and for looking after us. <laughs> we had a great time and I think that's it. I'm going to link everything below and I'm going to just put, I'll add some photos on here now at the end so you can see all the lovely fairy houses and Kate's new workshop as I said so thanks for watching guys I'll be back again very soon with um, some more shopping because I've been doing a little bit of online shopping so when those goodies arrive I'll be posting those up and also I have to post a video about pocket letters so have you been making pocket letters a lot of people have I've been swapping 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 so I have a good few now in my little folder so I'll be talking about those as well. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye.